So Christine was asking, can you can you explain the triangle again? Sure. Let's do the triangle. I know that was a quick one. She was probably like, what? Hold on. So the triangle, triangle. It's just a little description of how I help my clients make sense of this. We're like, all right, all right, all right, all right. Break it down. So let's do a little bit bigger. This is the velocity banking triangle, not a pyramid scheme. <laughs> so we got income that comes to, everybody has a checking account nowadays, right? If you don't, oh my God, you're probably living under a rock. So everybody has a checking account. That's where we receive our income. Over on this side of the triangle is our debt tool right whatever we're using credit card p lock key lock all in one loan whatever it is the debt tool let's say it's a p lock in this situation the p lock is at the same institution the same bank where your checking account is at this is preferable this is convenient this works great you can just by logging in online banking right on your phone right you just log in right online bam you're in okay you take money out of the p-lock and you do a withdrawal to the checking account it'll say transfer make a transfer from the p-lock to the checking account so money comes here right then you pay the debt right what whatever it is the debt slash bills the expenses right but i usually kind of draw the circle like that but technically speaking it comes from the checking to the debt right now the debt tool, that was the money. That's the bank's money. That's why I draw the line going that way, right? That's the bank's money. You're now paying Paul. Paul's paid off. He's done. The redirection of cash flow comes back to the checking account. You're no longer paying that bill out of your checking account. You're no longer paying that bill out of your checking account. Guess what? That money comes back to the P-Lock and it sits right there with Peter, right? Peter's here. Peter's charging you that beautiful low interest rate. Technically it's zero because you just save so much cash and interest. Okay. And this is how it goes. So money comes out, money goes in, expenses come out, cash flow stays. You continue to pay your bills the same exact way you're paying it before doing the concept. Nothing changes over there. It's just where your money is going. The money, your money has to stay in rotation. Very important. If your money is not rotating, right? You are essentially, your money is losing value. That's why you might have heard the term savers are losers, right? Might have been hearing that over the last two decades or so, savers are losers. Why? Because people who save money at the bank are now earning nothing. 0.1%, maybe a percent if you're lucky, maybe two if you're real you know, savvy and you looked up some research. But really, most banks are not offering anything on your money. So it's losing its value. So therefore, why would I sit my money in an account that isn't earning me anything? Where if I put my money in the debt tool, not that I'm earning by putting money in there, but I'm actually saving and redirecting interest. So there is a bit of an earn factor in that. And, and that's extremely important to know.